on Tuesday morning on the Radio on Breakfast show, and our guests this morning are Gigi Hadid and Tommy Hilfiger. Good Hello. morning. Good morning. Good morning, London. How are you guys? Great. Fantastic. Now, you've just landed. Like, Gigi, when did you, you landed how long ago? Um, about an hour ago. How we feeling? Got, you know, I got hair and makeup in a little tiny bathroom in the airport. It was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of funny. It's non-stop glamour, this fashion life, isn't you it? You know, yeah. You get off the plane, you get All your makeup time. done in a bathroom, and then you're forced onto Radio 1. Very glamorous. Um, this is exciting, though. It's exciting having both of you guys on the show. Thank How you. did this partnership come about? When did you guys first meet? Gigi was on my runway. Uh-huh. And she stood out, I would say head and shoulders above everyone else we had 55 girls during this particular show and it was like all eyes on Gigi uh -huh. so I said we have to do something together and so we said why don't we collaborate why don't you come in and design a line for us and with us uh -huh. and the rest is history and now you're showing off that line at a big fashion show as part of London Fashion Week yes which I guess must be like the, the fashion version of being a pop star and putting on a big show isn't Tommy it Tommy makes it, me feel like a pop star it is star. but, but, but <laughs> she, she is our rock star do you get a rider like a rock star can you say I'm gonna need at the show the following things do you I have like always a ask rider? for chips and guacamole love that I love mm -hmm. that, but you've got to be careful when you're ordering the chips in the UK, because chips, obviously... It's is a, French fries, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so crisps. just going up, crisps is what you want. Exactly. And, and guacamole. Yeah. I like that order. I Not like very that. British, but... No, but still delicious. But maybe here I'll get Nando's oh, this time. Yeah, do that. Is yeah. there any British food that you really love? Because I know that you, you, you're you into British stuff I'd read. I think I read in Vogue that you were talking about baked beans and stuff. Right. I love that. Well, Zayn has helped me a lot with my British yeah. food love an Indian food lab, and his mom's an amazing cook, uh, so they have made me, yes, a huge fan. What are you into? Are you into, like, Sunday roast? Sunday roast, love, curry, yeah. and I'm trying to learn everything right. as I go and make, like, a little cookbook. Yeah, you should do, a little British. Write, write it all down. Yeah, a little British. Instead of, like, annoying his mom every week, like, texting her, so. How'd you do that crazy, mom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> asking her, asking her. Moms do make, traditionally, though, the best roast dinners in the, the world. The best. Like I'll never be able best. to compete. No, you won't. Until, I try. Until I think something happens when you give birth, mm -hmm. and you just be like, I can just make a roast dinner. It yeah. just sort of happens. It's a magical <laughs> thing. Right, there is plenty more to chat to Tommy and Gigi about after these three songs. <laughs> Radio on Breakfast Show, Gigi Hadid, good morning. Good morning. Tommy Hilfiger, good morning. Good morning. One thing I wanted to ask you, Gigi, was when you were younger and you thought, you know what, I, I want to do modeling, did you ever do catwalk shows for your parents? Because kids, when they're little, will put on shows and stuff. Did you, did you ever do that? Um, you know what, honestly, when I was younger, I was really more, I, I never owned any designer clothes. I was, I rode horses. I was at the farm all day. Right. But I loved photographers and images. That's what I fell in love with. And, and I fell in love with how a model could bring life to a picture and, and not only just be a part of it, but make it something else. Um, and, but I think once I got older, I started watching like the Victoria's Secret uh -huh. show on TV and that's when I would now practice my walk. Wings. Yeah, during, now you've got your wings. Breaks. Now you've got the wings of your own. Who did you look up to when you were younger and thought, they're, they're good at modeling? Um, your mother, Yolanda. Yeah, my mom, Yolanda. Yeah. Who just was for a as a person. And <laughs> beautiful, beautiful model in her yeah, own right. And taught me a lot about the industry, never sugarcoated it, and really was like this. What did she be. teach you? What, is, what was the good bits of wisdom? You know, say if there's a radio DJ thinking of going into modeling, yeah. what would you pass on? She to always him? said, if you're not the nicest, most hardworking, person in the industry there's going to be someone prettier nicer and more hardworking. oh wow <laughs> so, that's, no mess, so that's like no messing about from mom every day yeah just just go to work you're going to be there the same amount of time regardless so you might as well be pleasant and and try and leave everyone on set uh -huh. better than you found yeah well i guess it's good because you, your mom has been through it so your mom can give you the, the real right. talk and your family do you know your sister and your brother do it mm -hmm. it must be really nice because it is it is a crazy job and an and, and, and amazing job because you get to go around the world but i guess being away from your family and working hard must be tough but great oh, that you've yeah. got bella yeah amazing and it's so nice so to, to look across a really busy backstage maybe we'll see my sister and just like yeah. give a thumbs up we're doing it yeah this is happening have you ever been up for like the same job and it's been like you versus bella and you're like bella please just just look terrible at this casting i really want this <laughs> well i've all i mean i've always said and this this is this goes for my sister and other models like if they want someone that looks like me they're not going to want bella and if they right. want someone that looks like bella they're not going to want me 
So I think it's it's not you can't take it personally and you can't make it a rivalry against your friends and in my case my sister because we're just different looking. Yeah. Like it's at, at the end of the day it's visual, it's creative and um it's it's not personal. <laughs> <laughs> and also what I wanted to ask you about is I read on your cover of American Vogue, which you and Zayn did, Ooh. that you share clothes. Well, our closets are in the same house, so I guess it's just sometimes like I go and well, he has a lot better clothes than me. And so do you think he has clothes, better clothes? So Does I he just have more clothes. Well, also it's easier for me to fit into his clothes than him to fit into mine. You yeah, know like I mean? him so I can go them, like. Yeah. But like he 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 takes T-shirts and glasses. I have a huge sunglasses collection. That's usually what he steals from me. Yeah, I, th I think it, you have to just say everything is everything. Yeah, right. right? It's yeah. Everything is everything. If you can make it work, you make it work. Yeah, love that. Is there ever any times where you're like like on like the internet or something? You see my you're like. They're my sunglasses, thank you. Well, yesterday I I took my own sunglasses to the airport and they tested me. Can you take my sunglasses? I was like, like do you mean mine? <laughs> <laughs> do you mean mine? That's I bought, thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, but you are both very fashionable couple and you both you always look great and you're both like you know experimental in what you wear. You never wear anything boring. Either well, he he inspires me a lot to to funk it up and um, wear what makes me happy. Ultimate in rock and fashion. Yeah. The oh. rock fashion couple. Yeah. But just how much have Gigi and Zayn learned from each other? Well, I have a test to find out coming up after this. One. This is BBC. BBC. Radio. Radio. One. Styles and two ghosts on Radio One is 8:20, and Gigi Hadid and Tommy Hilfiger are my guests this morning on the Radio One Breakfast Show. This is BBC Radio One. Um, now I wanted to talk to you about something that I've I've read about you, Gigi. I don't know if this is true. Okay. But I've read this about you. you. Yes. About your love of the Northern British accent. Obviously, Zane. Of course. Zane's. I'm from Manchester, which is not yeah. too far away from where Zane yeah. is. Zane has a proper, proper thick accent. Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. So uh, what I thought we'd do is now is <laughs> test. And Tommy, feel free to play along as well. Okay. Is test your knowledge of Yorkshire and the Yorkshire accent. Okay. Can you help me out? <laughs> like I'm. Like I'm better at like copying. Right. Like if you go first, I can try okay. it myself. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Well, pop those headphones on. Okay. Um, there should be some there for you, Tommy, as well. I'm gonna play you um, some some real life Yorkshire. Yeah. Our friend Harrison, who works at Radio One, has done this. Okay. And you just have to figure out what this means. Okay. This one's this one's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. A up. If someone said to you, A up, what are we thinking? A up. A up. Um, <laughs> does that mean are you up? Are you awake? Tommy, I'm thinking alley oop. The basketball <laughs> expression. <laughs> <laughs> no, a up's just like hello, a up, a up. What's up? A up. Yeah, up. what's up? It's kind of like, like what's up. I always say in America, whenever I'm in America, I say hi, you're all right, and people go, am I all right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, they, yeah they they're think like, it's I'm fine. Serious. Why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this next one, I, I I feel like Zane would have described you as this. Mm -hmm. I'm off to see our lass. That means like I'm going to see my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You're on this. So you could move to Yorkshire after this. Um, how about this? I'm proper chuffed about it. Like, I'm super stoked on that. Yes! <laughs> I like that we got the, the most American response. I think you're getting, like, the California we girl ever, version of ever, everything. We ever, ever got. And finally, probably the most famous Yorkshire phrase. E by gum. E by gum. E by gum. E by gum. Is that an advertisement for a, a chewing gum company? <laughs> no. This, this I might use at the fashion show later on if I see something particular. E by gum. It's like, wow. Wow. E like, e I am shocked. <laughs> e by gum, it were a right show. <laughs> like, that oh, were a damn. right show, that? It, it were a right show, that. It really was a right show. Your accent actually is pretty good. Very good. Well, I, I do think. practice. Sometimes Z thinks I'm making fun of him. But I, I was going to say that because if I hang out with someone who's like American or someone Australian, I'll do the accent. Yeah. And then after a while, they're like, that's actually how I speak. Can you not? Yeah, yeah no, I'm like, babe, not make I just love the accent. So it, I just. It is a good one. Okay, yeah, no, when, when I try the English accent, people say, y you're not getting it. You're, <laughs> not getting it. <laughs> you just don't get it. We had um, Britney Spears come into Radio 1. Major. Her accent when she. Well, this is her doing a Scottish accent. See what you make to this because 
<laughs> I mean, even she knows this isn't great. See the boys in the club. <laughs> <laughs> See the boys in the club. That's awesome. That one's not great. She also did Yorkshire. See what, what you make of this. Everyone in club, all eyes on us. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Is it? That's, that's not bad. Mm, I don't know if it's Yorkshire. But Britney's got a deep southern accent. Yeah, so hard to cover, I think. Talks like that. Tommy, have you seen Skins? No. What skins is, skins is fun. Tell him about skins. skins is fun to like. Like skinheads? Pra no, it's a, practice a TV your show. accent on it was a TV. It was TV, TV show. Oh no, I haven't seen it. Good for we recently rewatched it all. Oh, did you? It's but so good. Yeah, so good. It's a really, really good show. And that girl was in um. Now she's in the new Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, Kaya Major. Scott Elario. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's in that. She is. Right. Before you guys go, I, I want to get one of your fans on because you have a lot of fans, Gigi, and I thought it'd be great to get one of your fans on the phone to speak to you. Coming up right after this. BBC Radio. Tommy and Gigi, when we put it out that you guys were going to come on the show, everyone was very, very excited. We had loads oh, of texts, good. we had loads of tweets, loads of people That's wanted good. to say hello to you. And so we thought, yeah, I mean, it's the reaction that we want, oh, really. Um, <laughs> better than the other way. Um, but we have a caller You're on like, the line. no one called. Yeah. No one cared. No one called, so we're just going to have a minute of silence. <laughs> um, no, we have, a, we have a caller on the line who wants to say hello. Um, oh. Good morning. Who's that on line one? Hello? Hello. hello. Hi, who's that? Gigi! Hi. This is Emily. I was just I, I have a I have a big question for you. Hi, Emily. Hi. I was just wondering how you got into modeling. I'm such a big fan. Oh, thank you. Um I I actually started when I was really little, guess kids. And then um went back to school, rode my horses, played volleyball, went to university for two years, and then I started modeling in New York. <laughs> Does that answer your question, Emily? It answers my question, DJ. I love you, and I'm so excited about the collection. I love you, too. So thank I you. I tell you that awesome, you thank are you. a bright, shining star. Bright, bright, bright. Keep shining, baby. Thank you. Wow. You, too. Wow. Um, anything else you would like to tell <laughs> Gigi oh, oh, oh. while we're on the phone? Well, I would just like to tell you that I've really caught up on my English accent. And it's actually it's my sister. I forgot what I thought. <laughs> I was like... What is that, Bells. Bella? It's Bella. <laughs> Bella. Oh, my God, Bella. You're in trouble. That's so... Because, because you know what? Right when you said... Um, when you said, wow, that I was like... Because you know me and Bella have the same exact voice when we were Bells. That I is... I, 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 you should have just said I one less thing. I, I know. Bella, that Bella you awesome. are in big trouble now. <laughs> you know what? Bella, you had me you know fooled. What? I'm so proud of you, and I know... She was so excited this morning to come on this show, so I'm so happy you're there, Dee. I'm so proud of you. I love you. You're a superstar you yourself, too. Bella. Bye, Bella. Bye, bye, bye Bella. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> oh my God, there was a moment there where you guys were like, "This girl is crazy." <laughs> that was great. Well, there we go. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Thank Find you. It. Thank you, guys.